Well, as you know, we have our favorite veteran here in studio with Thank us you. today. Uh, Nate Boyer, I mean, aside from my dad and all that kind of stuff, but Favorite here on Total Nate, Access, yeah. team veteran. Uh, so we're going to count down the top 10 veterans in NFL history. You're going to join us for that. Yeah. Okay, we're going to start with number 10, and that is Mike Anderson, who was named the NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year in 2000. He played for the Denver Broncos, rushed for 1,400 yards in 12 games, spent four years in the Marines straight out of high school. And at number nine, it is George Hallis Sr., the Bears founder and longtime owner, retired with 318 wins in 1968. That was the most at the time. He served in the Navy in both World Wars. Number eight is Amard Hall, spent six seasons as a fullback for the Titans, blocked for a thousand yard rusher every season, played his college football at Texas. Hook him. <laughs> served four years in the Marines, including tours in Kosovo and Afghanistan. Roger Staubach spent four years in the Navy, served in Vietnam, then joined the Cowboys as a 27-year-old rookie, went on to win two Super Bowls in 11 seasons. And at number six, Chuck Bednarik, the Hall of Famer, played 14 seasons with the Eagles. He served in the U.S. Army Air Corps during World War II, earning an air medal. Number five, Tom Landry, Cowboys Hall of Fame head coach, won two Super Bowls, 20 consecutive winning seasons, also played his college football at Texas, Hook'em. Was a B-17 <laughs> co-pilot in World War II and survived a crash. Is this a coincidence that you got all the UT guys? Yes. <laughs> no. Number four is Dick Knight Train Lane, uh, another Hall of Famer. Totaled 68 career interceptions. That's fourth all-time. He served in the Army in both World War II and the Korean War. And at number three, Rocky Blyer. He played for those Steelers teams in the 70s. Started on all four Super Bowl teams. He won those rings after a grenade blast severely injured his legs during uh, Vietnam. Number two, Eddie Wilbaron. Earned a bronze star during the Battle of Heartbreak Ridge in Korea. Suffered two wounds there. Nicknamed the Littlest General. He was a four-time Pro Bowl quarterback for the Redskins and the Cowboys. And number one, Pat Tillman. Safety for the Cardinal from 98 to 01. Left a big contract offer on the table to enlist with the Army Rangers after 9-11. Killed by friendly fire in Afghanistan. He's number 40. He was retired by the Cardinals. And he's my hero. Your hero. It's good stuff. Hey, Amen. He's awesome. Unbelievable.